everyone. I'm Aaron, a burning naturalist. Welcome back to my channel. It's October, and that means it is time for the October monthly a burning naturalist nature challenge. This month, talking sound, nature sounds, Xenocanto. For October, my challenge, my challenge to you, I hope you join me on, is to add a recording to a database called Xenocanto. Now what's Xenocanto? Well, Xenocanto is this wonderful uh, sort of open source, uh, publicly available, community science, citizen scientist type database that is online and it is a collection of recordings of the natural world. Sounds. That's what it is. It's the sound library. It's amazing. There's tons of stuff on there and not just birds. I mean, I originally discovered it because I stumbled upon it looking for bird stuff, but they do birds, tons of birds, but also mammal sounds. You know, if you happen to uh, be lucky enough to get some whale sound recordings, you can upload them to Xenocanto. If you hear crickets. You can upload those to Xenocanto. Frog callings? Absolutely. Xenocanto will take them. Xenocanto is this really cool resource. You can go, it's searchable, and so you can really delve into like what does this sound like or what does that sound like. It's a fantastic resource and it's one of those resources like eBird that we've talked about in the past or iNaturalist where the more people contribute to it, the better it gets. It's already cool and it can only get cooler with all of us throwing more and more recordings onto it, more and more data into that database. So, and it's really easy to upload too. So that's that's the challenge for this month, October. There's only you know about half of October left, but I figured this is an easy one, so I think we can all squeeze it in. Um, if you're curious to know about how does one get recordings of sounds, uh, I mean, certainly there are lots of microphones that you can get. But you can also use your cell phone. Cell phones are fantastic for just collecting sounds in the natural world around us. If you want some tips on how to use your cell phone or make sure you've got sort of the settings right and stuff like that, I've actually made a video on how to use a cell phone to record sounds. And so I will link that at the end of this video and also put a link in the description below. So by all means, go check those out. There are, there are some tricks to the trade, uh, but overall, pretty darn easy just with the technology you've got probably in your pocket. And like I said, actually uploading it to Xenocanto, fairly straightforward process. And so the whole thing, pretty easy. And then you're contributing to this amazing database worldwide, the sounds of nature. Incredible. So I've used it for my research in the past. So I know that it's powerful. Lots of other people use it for their research as well. And Really, collecting sounds can be an incredibly useful tool for a lot of reasons. You can sometimes track species by listening to them easier than by looking at them. Some species just, they're hard to see, they're secretive, maybe they're nocturnal, but they're noisy. And so by listening, you can find out how maybe an invasive species are spreading or how the population of a native species is doing. Maybe it's in danger. You want to know its population status. You can listen to them. So it's a really useful, very powerful, very multifaceted database to have. It's really wonderful that it's out there. And so I'm delighted to be able to support it. And I hope you help me to support it as well. So like I said, check out that link at the end to uh, see about recording sounds with a smartphone. And I hope that you join me on this uh, October's Nature Challenge. Um, as usual, I will leave links to all the challenges of the previous months down in the description. And again, as usual, you can go back, even though we are long past January, February, you can still go back and do all those if you would like to, if it uh, sparks your curiosity or your interest. So I think I'm going to go and... Uh, See if I can maybe 
track down a singing bird and record something. And then I'll have my upload for Zeno Canto. So as always, thank you very much for the view. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, enjoy the natural world.